Shut up and sit down. Welcome back. Hi, 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 hi. Checking out Chinatown. Going here and look, look for stuff. Uh, we got some doors we can interact with. Let's go try this door over here. I'm sure this is just a hallway. Yeah, it's just a hallway. Can I kick in the trash can? Nope. Nobody likes hallways. Nobody likes hallways. What are you for? Oh. Uh. Uh. What are you doing? Let me sneak around behind you. Remington's wandering around the room. Oh wow! I'm, it's really fortunate that that cutscene happened at that time. Whoa! These guys are cool. Have I fought them before? Uh, these are skelly kitties. You fought similar things, but not these. Yeah. These are new. Oh, I like them. I like them a lot, actually. I'm a, I'm not really a cat person, but like cat monsters for some reason work for me. But uh, fortunately, the screen graying out, except for critical elements, means that <laughs> I now know that this treasure chest is over here. Yay! And this treasure chest over here, too, now that I'm on the lookout for them. Hooray! Looks like you're winging it. I'm winging it? Yeah. Oh, I know all my voices. I don't need my list. We keep cheat sheets, but they're in shorthand that we can't read. <laughs> so, you know, I guess we get away with it. Ooh, this chair's getting squeaky again. We're gonna have to do something about that. No, don't shoot! Whoa. Well, we... I think we need to actually put mineral oil on that. Yeah. The WD-40 just, just doesn't it last. working. Yeah. Hey, these guys are stronger than they used to be. The the one advantage to the WD-40 is it has a can that sprays nice, so I can get the areas that are going to be really hard to reach with the... It's nice and portable, too. Well, like, I know that sounds dumb, but that's... Yeah, no, no, I, I get you. You know what I mean, yeah. I can't use pre raise out of battle. That would've been cool. That would be cool. Uh, that'd be probably a little too useful. Cheat code. Cheat code. <laughs> uh, did I wanna did I change something? How much damage do you Oh Hi. Wow. And it's got three shots. I have thirteen bullets. What? Three shots? No, it's got nothing. That's for my other gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, it gets one shot, and that's it. Um, but it's so... The stats are so high, you might actually want to put a couple more shots on there. Um, so here's the problem with the grenade launcher... With the rocket launcher, from what I was reading, is... Um, yeah, the ammo is completely finite in this game. Oh. Yeah, you only get what you get from chests if you get them. Uh, okay, cool. I'll take you. And I'll give me some... Oh, offense plus one, hell yeah. In other words, you don't want to max out the rocket launcher then? No. Nah, no point. Um, cool. I wonder how many people are mad at me for just leveling up the pistol, but I don't care! Pistols are cool. I love pistols. Yeah. The only thing cooler than a pistol is a pistol with a bayonet. No. No? Like, my, my, my prefer preference with those towards uh, revolvers. Yeah, me too. Heavy. I, I don't know. I just like the... Like, if it's a... I don't know what it is. It just requires control. Like, the idea is, if you limit yourself some in the technical ability, then that means you have to make up for it with uh, uh, skill and patience. <clears throat> so I don't want something that's going to make me, you know, just go all crazy with semi-auto or full auto. Even then, it's here! I'm sure I changed his voice at some point. What are you looking for? Oh, you still looking for that thing? A little bit. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the thing is. It's okay. It looks like rotten meat. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm going down to have a look. Notify Daniel for me. No, I'm gonna go check that chest first. Don't kick me down there. Yeah, yes, wait. Uh, here, take this. Narita, another good luck charm. charm. Yay! That's going in a box at the police station. Forever, forever. Yapo now. Check this out. I'm real. I'm still surprised that they put all these good luck charms in the game. They really are meaningless. Yeah, according to everything I've read, they don't do jack like, shit. They, I, they clearly, I think they had a plan with them and then just didn't. They probably, yeah, that's probably how they went. 
But then again, what use would they be? This is not that kind of game. Well, it could be like you have them at a certain point and then something happens with their eels and something like that. Like, they're part of a key appendix. Not, you know? But how? This game is not built on the idea of magic or trap puzzles or shit like that. You know what I mean? That's true. Um, like, they would have no use. Like... If you equipped them and they gave you a stat boost or something, that's one thing, but, like, having them as key items? Nah. Or maybe if you if you wear both of them at the same time, and then you, uh, find a third hidden one somewhere in the game, like, you can do a Kamehameha wave or something, that'd be cool. Maybe they come up came up with the, uh, the good luck things before Parasite Eve became Parasite Eve. Maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, because this was supposed to, what was it supposed to be? Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Yeah. Did we talk about that on here? No. Talk about it, because I don't remember. So yeah, originally this game was going to be Parasite, uh, was going <laughs> to be Final Fantasy VII. Final Parasite They wanted seven. to do like this uh, paranormal uh, undercover cop, New, uh, New York cop kind of thing for Final Fantasy VII. And... Somewhere along the line, that got scrapped, and Final Fantasy VII became what it became. And they had all these ideas left over, and then somehow they got involved with the people who made the Parasite Eve movie, and they made this as a sequel, this game as a sequel to the movie. Yeah, I, I know I've kind of discussed how that transpired. So a lot of the ideas that were going to be in Final Fantasy VII or, got, became this. Yeah, that's kind of along the lines of... Um, Final Fantasy IV, this is pretty well known now, but Final, uh, no, 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 Devil May Cry. Oh, God. Devil May Cry was originally going to be, fi um, uh, Resident Evil 4. And really? Yeah, it kept changing and changing, and it became, it became so much of a control-based game that it took a lot of the horror out of it, so they were like, oh, well, I guess we'll make this something else. Um, so, yeah, Paris, or I think that's for the best, because... Personally, I think Devil May Cry is horrible garbage. And I think so it's alright! If it were I just can't evil, play it. it wouldn't be playable. Yeah. I got jump. Uh, Here's the thing. Okay. Game yeah. mechanics wise, gameplay, everything else that's done that game style, that is done better. better. Yeah. Okay. Story wise, horrible! Oh my god! It's not about that though, it's about the flash. It's about it's about being a badass and looking good while doing it. But you don't. That's one of my biggest issues, is you get these cool, like, badass weapons and whatnot, and the camera's so far out, you can't actually see what you're wielding. Uh, uh, I don't remember the game itself making it difficult. Like, I just remember having a hard time because I wasn't good at it. I never beat the first boss, like the lion head thing from the first game, or the lion monster. I don't remember exactly what it was. But I never beat it, because I was bad at it. Oh my god, I'm blind. This is bad. That looks like the Final Fantasy blind symbol. Oh my god. Are you telling me Squeenix had something to do with this? No. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna have It was to... actually Squaresoft. Really? Before they That's right, that's right. I got we got excited about that. Yeah. Um maybe I can maybe I've gotta Because I don't know if you've noticed, but since the whole merger thing, Squ Games that were Squaresoft have gone in the shitter, while Enix games have continued to be good. Yeah, like... Dragon yeah. Quest? What? Dragon Quest? Oh, that's not a thing. <laughs> Dragon that's Quest stopped thing. existing the moment that uh, uh, Final Fantasy came out. Pretty much. Um, it's making a comeback. No, it's it wasn't really big here back then. It was called Dragon Warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. My, my, my trivia on that one's pretty, pretty small. I don't got a lot of info on it. I wasn't a big Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior fan until 8. The merger. Oh. It was, uh, I think it was right before the merger, or it was being made before the merger, but came out after. What but I want to... Dragon Quest 8 was freaking awesome. And uh, then I got to the, you know, the, the portable games, like the Dragon Quest Monsters uh, games, where yeah. it's like, you, like, Dragon Quest meets Pokemon kind of thing. I got you. So, the, their spinoffs are kind of pretty fun, as well as the, you know, Final, uh, Dragon Quest Eight was a great uh, JRPG. I, um, 
What I want to kind of get back to is uh, the Suikoden series. If you've ever oh, played any of those. Suikoden. 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 That's what I call it. I don't know what it's actually. I think it's Suikoden because it's S U I K O D I. Yeah. Um, uh, I played. I played. I think the third one a bit and thought it was cool, but. It was a thing. Ooh. Hello. Um. Yeah, no, it was cool. I just, uh, my time was very limited, and then I uh, lost the save data and never returned to it. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. I think I think I almost beat the first one. I don't remember if I actually did or not, but I know that I had made, I made a lot of progress. But what I really loved about it, wow, that went a lot better than the last time I fought that guy. Um, anyway, uh, I really, I loved it, and I loved the base building part of it, where it's like you get to a certain point where you've established your headquarters, and now you're improving on it and going out and hiring people and recruiting new new townsfolk to take up certain jobs and you can promote them and level them up so eventually you have like like three awesome blacksmiths and all this shit going on see that game did something another game i loved uh did which i can't remember what the other game is called at the moment but the point is what it did it did something that ended up turning me off even though i loved the gameplay What's that? And story. You have you have so many characters that story wise mean nothing. You have unlimited characters you can bring in, kind of thing for your army. You. You, you you know you you get you know guys of this type, guys of that type. You level them up. You do all this, and it's great until it becomes too much of a chore. Okay. Because when they die, they're gone for good. So you got to get another one and start the work all over again. Okay, so keeping a full rounded army at all times is impossible, pretty much. Yeah, unless you're perfect at the game. Well, I mean, <laughs> there's your problem, and now you have something to strive for. <laughs> the game taught you that you're shit. What are you going to do about it? Now, the other game, which I wish I could remember because it was great and uh, hilarious, but you could actually get monsters and whatnot, and you, you could level up a character here, level up this character, and merge them into this new character. That like, and you actually items had a world inside them. You had to go. You could dive into the item world, and you had to go through levels and level levels upon levels, and you could uh, get these little dudes out of the items, and those dudes represented stats, which you could then put onto your equipment. What the fuck are you even talking about? Is this your fantasy game that you made up in your head? I. I'm trying to follow you here, man, but I'm also lost in a sewer maze, so... Okay, let's say you got a freaking... What game is this? Did you even tell me what it was? No, I don't remember. It starts with a D. It, it's, a, it's a demon... You're, you're demon world... Haz Hazuyuko. You are the, the prince of hell. Okay. Uh, your That's kind of rude, but, you know, your fuck dad you too, died. buddy. Uh, it's a great series, and I, I, I'm kicking myself for not remembering the name. Takimojo Dracula? But... You, you you say you got like a freaking potion, yeah. And it's got these bonus little dude. It's got people inside it basically. These okay. Dudes. And you know for like strength or you know dex or whatever. What system? Um, PlayStation One, Two. Okay. Uh, PSP. Um, Dark Cloud. Nintendo DS. The latest one st stayed with PlayStation Three though. Okay. It starts with a D, but I can't remember. But like, you got the this item, this potion. It's got these stats on it. They're worthless on a potion. Dragon Death Dracula. So you go, you go to the this little area, and you talk to the lady. She sends you into the world with your team, and it's a, it's a, it's kind of like Dark Cloud. Is I mean, it's kind of like um, Shining Forces. It, you know, you kind of attack a little now, bit, but, but you it's attack your stuff. Yeah. There's not a lot of exploring. It's mostly just this hub hub area. Okay. But yeah, and you and you go in. So, so you go into the item world, and you get to get the right levels in the world. They can there can be hundreds of levels in an item, but you're not going to have to actually go that deep for all the things. Okay. Um. But yeah, and so you get the you rescue. Uh, when you get to a level that has the dude that you want for the, representing the stat that you want to get out of it. Yeah. You have to get to him in time before the monsters kill him. This sounds really complex and deep and fun. It is, but it was overwhelming. 
Because yeah, that sounds overwhelming. Do you know how long it takes you to actually get back to the story of the game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there's this whole system of of voting for things that unlock features in the game, and you have to bribe the right judges and whatnot. What the and then fuck? The, the vote of yay, nay, yay. The more yays you get, okay, now you can you can go up. Uh, now all of a sudden, the shop sells higher level equipment. Or yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's got just crazy features everywhere, and this is so much. This sounds like Gary's Mod RP. Is what this sounds like. This sounds like Dark RP on Gary's Mod. Um, God, I miss those days. Like I barely touched it, but I enjoyed it for a brief while. Because you literally just did whatever you wanted as long as you weren't pissing people off enough to kill you. It's like, oh, go to the store and buy some milk, because milk's an item in the game. It, it's just got a model. It's not really worth anything, but it's worth role-playing to buy milk. I'm going to go in here and you got to bring your milk with you so that you can show it to the guy and be like, I'm buying this. <laughs> good, good time. That reminds me of a skit I watched uh, where a guy went to a store where everything costs zero dollars and zero cents. So he goes in, he grabs something, then he goes to walk out, and he ends up getting arrested for stealing because he didn't go through the checkout. <laughs> Where was the, who did that? I didn't it, see that. It was I think it was Mad TV. Oh, okay. I like Mad TV. It was very hit or miss, but it was better than Saturday Night Live at the time. Like when Mad TV first started, Saturday Night Live was probably better. Yeah. But over time, Saturday Night Live went down the shitter. Mad TV at least stayed fun. Yeah. Like well, they cycled their people up more frequently. Mad TV style of humor just didn't click with me. Yeah. But it, it's not that they stopped being funny, where Saturday Night Live really did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Saturday Night Live became Saturday Night Live, and that was when it died. It became too too much of exactly what it was. Like, it, it found its point of success and keyed into it, and then yeah. as the world changed, they were like, oh, we're no longer as relevant. Let's be more of whatever the fuck we just were. <laughs> People didn't like that penis joke. Well, shit, tell some more. <laughs> they didn't like one, give them 40. Yeah. This is... Ew. And, like, they don't utilize actors and stuff in ways that they could. Like, when The Rock guest, like, guest hosted, is he the... could have been so much better. Yeah. Is the audience from Central Park? Uh-oh. They're boo! They're boo! Whoa. That's some goopy garbage. Told you they were poo. That's goopy garbage. Yeah, shoot at the mass. You can do it. Do I have to fight this thing? I don't remember. Just thinking about shooting it. Memories are memories. Memories are memories. Come on. You gonna do it? No, we're gonna hang out, I guess, or something. What the hell did... I don't know what that cutscene was for. I guess to show off the graphics. I have to get the slime out of the reservoir before it infects the whole city! Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is what's that sound? Stevenson finally letting some of that out? Yeah. Or was it the goo? Uh, a little better. A little, little pressure off. A little pressure off. Hopefully, she doesn't have to turn any valves. Oh, hi, guys. I remember you. Wow, the uh, directional controls got a little funky there. It's second. like Rat meets Godzilla. We fought these guys before, remember? It was, was like a the boss. first boss. Yeah. yeah. We fought one. Yeah. He was a boss. I think he was bigger. Than I kind of, I, I, I kind of like it when bosses become normal en enemies later. Oh, I love that. That gives you such a sense of progression. Especially when they remain just as strong as they were when they were a boss. Yeah. Don't cheap it. Like you're not fighting dumbed down versions. No, this is him. Yeah. This is the guy that you shut your pants when you saw earlier. Now you're kicking his ass <laughs> with no problems. That's right. Uh. Cool. Well, I'm gonna do a little bit of item stuff, and then uh, I guess we'll get back to exploring this creepy poopy underground area in the next episode. See you in the next creepy poopy episode. Creepy poopy out! <laughs>